Hello, hello, and welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to uh, my garage. Long time no see. Hopefully, you're all doing pretty fantastic. We are on the beach house run right now, and uh, from uh, my understanding, our car is starting to break on us. Uh, we're having a fuel pump issue. Some batteries are starting to go out, and uh, some exhaust. Yeah, I think we kind of messed this thing up a little bit when we was doing our pizza runs. So I'm not too sure what we're going to be doing today. I don't have a plan set in place. Uh, we still have our barn find up there. And uh, yeah, we can get that. Well, I don't know if we can get it or not, honestly. Um, okay, yeah, we need to get this somewhere. Let's go ahead... And I think we're going to take a trip. I don't know where, honestly. I don't know. I was thinking about going to the junkyard and looking for some parts for this thing. Um, we only have 1900 bucks. Unfortunately, the trailer that we needed to get our barn find uh, is kind of expensive. Uh, let's just head up here to the old parts store. And uh, let's see, let's see what we have going. We're gonna do some, we're gonna get some new parts for this, I think. Not a bunch, but a couple, like a fuel pump. Uh, I need to come through here and fix this road someday, but here we go, let's get parked real quick. Okay, let's head inside and let's see here. So first thing, yeah, I definitely want to replace my fuel pump. Uh, the brake, I'm not too worried about. I feel like I'm stopping just fine the way it is, so I'm not too stressed about that, but a fuel pump for sure. And obviously the headers. I mean, yeah, we definitely want to replace that exhaust. I think we'll probably replace the water, uh, the hose right here. Let's take a look at our levels actually to see if it's dropping. It seems like it might be going down, but then again, I may have only put one bottle in here. So I'm gonna leave the battery as well, uh, kind of destroyed because I'm kind of curious. Oh, I would like to see it actually go bad. And have a reason to use my uh, charger anyway. Hey, buddy. Dino Steve, the pawn shop guy. Yeah, why? If you want an advice from me, stay away from this guy. No. He's way too shady to my liking. Well, then that's your problem, bro. It's not my problem. I like Steve. He freaking buys all kinds of parts from me. So we come here to our old i4. I still don't have any mods in. I have seen your guys' requests or suggestions for me to actually uh, use some mods. Um, I don't know which ones to use, to be honest with you. I really don't. Uh, do we have a wrench on us? Yeah, we do. Let's go ahead and get this fuel pump re replaced really quick. We got to remove the fuel line, of course, and then we can remove the actual pump itself. But yeah, I'm not too sure what mods to actually install as of right now. Um, you know what I mean? I just, I just don't even know. I just don't know. There we go. Let's get that uh, fuel line back on. Uh, just like that and oh yeah check it out our trans emission is pretty bad that's a pretty expensive part um i might go down to the junkyard to shop for that i think everything else looks fine we're just let's see how our air filter looks uh before we actually get out of here though oh i should be looking at my um honestly i should be looking inside the engine uh let's take a peek inside this is our diagnostic tool. I'm just going to pretend that I'm using a uh, OBD. Oh, dude, we do have some busted pistons in here. Uh, looks like we have one burnt out piston. That does suck a bit. Um, oh, dude, look at our look at our thing here. OK, OK, let's get back inside. We're, OK, let me get the uh, exhaust first, I think. Yeah, the header right here. 38 bucks. It's not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. Under 100 bucks, I think I feel fine getting it from the catalog. Uh, anyway, anyway, let's swap this out. And then I'm curious. I'm going to start this thing right after. Oh, dude, we lost both pieces. Okay, it's fine. Let's get this one on first. Tighten it. And then let's grab the smaller one. There we go. Whoa, did you see, did you see that? It, like, really affected our, uh, our car there for a second. Okay, anyway, anyway, uh, yeah, let's take a look at this crankshaft pulley. So if we turn it on, yeah, this thing's completely burned out. And then if we look at the lines here, in here, they are not lined up. So I'm pretty sure this thing 
shouldn't run that good. So let's get it started and let's kind of pay attention to how it sounds. There we go. There we go. Let's come in here. Are you listening? Can you hear it? Okay, so it sounds pretty good. Let's rev it a little bit. So it seems to run, or at least it sounds pretty good. Let's take it for a little bit of a cruise uh, around the lot here. I want to see if I notice a difference when the uh, crank pulley and the um, the timing looks like it's off let's see well what we could do is uh let's do a zero to 60 uh test here oops okay i need to be looking as i come around the corner uh yeah 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 let's see here we're gonna actually do it on this little back street right here right behind this guy so hopefully he uh, moves it along a little bit okay okay let's get parked here okay we're gonna do zero to 60 i'm just gonna count it uh, we'll see how accurate I am. I'll try to put a, a little timer up there as well. Here we go. Uh, three, two, one, go. Oops. Okay, my bad. Uh, my bad. Let me try that again. That was a fail. Okay, let's try this again. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four. So it was like about four seconds or so. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, replace some more parts real quick. Uh, first thing that we're going to be replacing is that crank pulley. Because <clears throat> I want to see if the, if the timing is actually programmed into the game. You know what I mean? I mean, visually, it looks like the timing is programmed into the game. So I just want to see if it is also uh, physically programmed in so let's get a pizzas occasionally if you do could you bring me one next time please the hell did you say bro i didn't hear you anyway 21 bucks yeah that does not cost too much let's go ahead and put this thing on and uh yeah 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 we'll see if it makes any difference whatsoever boom there we go we're gonna put this in the back uh yeah because we oops hey 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 oh you know we could actually go sell these to steve if we hurry uh, cause he's still open, so maybe we'll take a test drive down there. Anyway, let's get in here. Did we tighten that thing up? We did, we did. Yeah, and if you notice, uh, the line is even now. So let's see if this is actually a thing. Uh, we're just going to bag our wrench and let's go see Steve. Is there anything else that we left over here? Sometimes I leave parts on the side of the buildings, so nope, nothing over there. All right, let's get this thing started, and uh, we're going to give it another 0 to 60 test and see if timing actually affects our performance here. You know, I should probably do the tranny, but I think we're going to get that down at the old junkyard. Yeah, those are kind of pricey. Uh, we'll check and see how much, but let's get over here real quick. Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nobody coming. Okay, easy, easy. Nobody coming. Get pulled out. Okay, okay. Let's see here. Ready? One, two, three. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Three, one thousand. Four. Maybe slightly faster. I feel like I hit it at f on four, where before that I hit it at four. Like, you know what I mean? Four. And then this one was f. Anyway, anyway. Uh, let's get in here. Let's sell these little. Uh, oh, God. There we go. I thought I didn't have brakes for a second, but. Uh, this thing does break like a charm. Anyway, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and sell these things. Let's do it hey, proper. Just like a friendly bit of advice, bud. Keep your garage locked at night. Yeah, I know that dude up at the uh, parts store is a little bit sketchy, don't you think? Anyway, nine bucks. Ah, damn it! Hold on, we didn't get it. Let's try that again. Nine dollars. Oh, dude, it, he does not want this. Why not, bro? Oh, I just wasn't up far enough. Okay, there's like some kind of magnetic field there. Anyway, let's see how much he gives us for the fuel pump. Seven dollars. Seven dollars and the pulley. Okay, it's not the worst. Not the worst. You know, 20 bucks uh, almost. I don't think I have anything else to sell him. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I think we're going to go to the uh, junkyard next and get ourselves a transmission. Yep, it's a tran that is on a mission. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I forgot. We do have some bad 
some bad parts back here. Okay, okay. Well, what can we do? You know, there's not too many ways to make money in this game. You know what I mean? I wonder if I should sell my wagon. And then buy a new car. You know, I think that's probably the move. I really, I mean, I guess we could do some more scrapping. I know that worked out pretty good last time. I forgot to see how much that trailer cost though. Uh, I think it was 3,900. Yeah, I think it was like 3,900 for that trailer. Scrapping was pretty fun. Unfortunately, it would have been much funner if I was able to kind of bring everything back in one shot instead of a uh, hundred shots. Damn it, I stalled it. So I'm not too sure what to do here. I think what I want to do, I think I'm just going to go ahead and sell this car. Yeah, 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 I think so. Let's just do that. We'll make some money here. We're going to get this all the way up to a full five stars. And then I think I'm going to sell it. Actually, I could sell it right now for 10 grand. It won't take it much to get it up to here, but then I'm going to have to sell it in town. And I don't know how to get back. I'm not too sure. I'm stuck. I don't, I really don't know what to do. I'm going to be honest. I just don't. Let's see how much a transmission costs here. 370 bucks. Yeah, I think I'm just going to get that down at the old place. Here's that lower hose. I'm just going to go ahead and buy this lower hose, I think. Well, it's too late to think about it. I already did it. So, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and put this on. And then I think we'll head down to the junkyard and grab, um, what are we going to grab at the junkyard? A transmission, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's get a wrench out and let's pull off that bottom hose. We're going to have to be kind of quick about this. So we don't want to be wasting uh, fluid here. So we're going to set that on the ground. Let's pop this puppy off, drop it, pick up the new one and a boom, boom. That was pretty fast. Okay. Let's drop our wrench. Let's see how much we lost. Not too much. It is still pretty full. Okay. 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 Uh, it is now noon, so we can't uh, get any parts from Steve. Let's go ahead and grab our wrench. Let's take a look at the car again. I think we'll go ahead and get the brake cylinder next. Yeah, let's see how much that thing costs. If it's over a hundred bucks, I'm just gonna get it at the... I got the chroming station out back if you need it. I don't. I don't, bro. Damn it, you, you made me forget what I was looking for. Oh yeah, the brakes. So, it's 35 bucks. Yeah, let's just get it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make a roll for myself. Uh, if it's over a hundred bucks, I'm just gonna get it at the damn uh, junkyard, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's pull out the wrench again. Uh, swap this thing out now we will have to swap around our fluid uh, so we're going to pop off the line first and we're going to come inside and grab uh, the inner bolts uh, there it is we're going to use that same fluid i'm not going to waste my money on a new fluid uh, but let's go ahead and get this tight boom and then of course uh, the two inside right where are they where are they I can't see him. I can't see him, bro. Oh, my car is moving as well. That could probably be a reason why. There we go. Oh, how funny. I didn't notice in the Lada here that the radio just mounts right underneath of this. That's hilarious. I actually bought a new stereo for my car. Um, cause my, I, I had a one that was like, I don't even know, 10 or 15 years old or something. Anyway, uh, it was broken for the longest time in my little focus. Dude, I just bought one online for $23. I mean, it doesn't have a lot of a power or anything to it, but hold on, hold on. Get it in the hole, please. There it is. No, we're missing it. We're missing it. Damn it. Where's the hole? It's right here. But yeah, anyway, I bought it for, uh, I think it was at walmart.com or possibly Amazon. Oh, look, it's unlimited filling, by the way. Did you see that? It just doesn't stop. Ah, dude, that's kind of nice. Anyway, uh, it was only 20 bucks, bro. 20 freaking dollars. I used to have uh, like a really expensive system. It was like over two grand. Uh, but anyway, the new stereos these days literally cut off right here. So it's only from this point 
to right here big. That's it. It's not even this deep anymore. I couldn't believe it. I could not uh, believe it. Anyway, uh, we got the brakes on. They are filled. And what else? What else? Well, if we are going to be selling this, we might as well swap out that battery. I think I'm going to keep the battery. Probably not. Probably not, actually. Uh, let's just pull it off, however. Let's see. Where's the old bolts? There we go. There we go. And yeah, we're going to we're going to put this in the back. I don't know if I'll keep it or not. Anyway, anyway, let's get a new one. Uh, how much are they? $69. $69. So they're the same price whether we buy them from the catalog or the shelf. So we're just getting from the shelf. Let's go ahead and stick this puppy in. There we go. There we go. And let's get it tightened again. There we go. And a boom. Okay, let's look at it. It's up to 10000 it is up to 10,000. Uh, yeah, so we're not going to do the tr that thing, but we could do a quick piston swap. So let's do it since we're here at the store. Um, did I bring any jack stands or anything with me? I do have one jack stand. Uh, do I have a jack with me? It's kind of hard to tell uh, with the back seat. We got stuff jammed under the seat back here. Oil, paint discs it discuits oh i bet it's in my uh i bet it's in my thing here oh no i don't actually i thought it was in my bag well i'll be damned so i don't have a jack anywhere it's surprising i must have left it somewhere at the house possibly i got a bunch of stuff in here actually okay, okay, okay. why does that thing look much bigger than it used to anyway I don't think I do have a jack. Um, I'm kind of weary about just slapping the old jack stand under there. So I'm just going to go ahead and not buy one. And not buy one. We're just going to do some good old in-house uh, engine work by uh, crawling underneath. Let's go and pull off the oil pan. Right? Yes, yes. Yeah, we should be able to reach this uh, just like this. We'll see, though. And there we go. Let's come through this backside. And a boom. A boom. Let's pull off the oil pan. Let's keep all this oil in here, by the way. Can we throw it? Kind of, kind of. Anyway. Yep, now we just need to pull off the crankshaft, so let's do it. Now there was a small update that happened uh this past week. Damn it, damn it. I will say, by the way, uh I ha if I haven't said it already. Uh, I enjoyed my week off, my week vacation. Uh, so anyway, it's also good to be back into my garage. I was just kind of feeling, I think mostly on this playthrough, it's just I don't, I didn't know what to do uh, for this playthrough. You know what I mean? Anyway, anyway, it's going to be fine. It's going to be just fine. Uh, welcome back to my garage and uh, a regular uploading schedule again. So you could expect to see this back on the channel pretty frequently. Um, Anyway, anyway, we need two pistons. Better to be pissed on than pissed off. No, 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 no. You got it backwards, you idiot. Okay, so a regular piston is $42. A high-performance piston is $72. Bucks. But if we're going to be selling this, there's no point. I did think about keeping it. I mean, I guess I could have put a bunch of high-performance parts in this and tried to race it for some money. You know, it's not the worst idea, honestly. Uh, you get quite a bit. For racing maybe we'll uh, it's pretty expensive unfortunately uh turbochargers and stuff i don't think they really spawn at the junkyard do they ah uh, dude i kind of want to do that now just put a turbo on this thing and then we'll take it to the rally track and um just do a bunch of races to just bank in bank our, a bunch of money ah uh, dude I, oh, that sounds like a great idea but it also sounds like a great idea to just sell this thing and do that with a different car. Um, let's just buy two regular pistons. Screw it. I think maybe our next car. Oh, damn it. Hold on. I'm, I'm conflicted here. Hold on, you guys. I was thinking about just selling this because it's already at almost a full five, st uh, full five stars rate all the way across the board. So I was thinking about selling it and then picking up a new vehicle and just repairing it enough to win races. Yeah, I think I that... I also sell trailers, by the way. Oh, they yeah. are parked outside. I, I forgot about that. Hold on, buddy. Let me look at your trailers real quick. Thank you for reminding me. 
Let's see. How much is this damn thing, by the way? It's hard to see. Hold on. 3900 Yeah, it's pretty expensive. Okay. I think that's the move. That's the thing that we're going to be doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead. We're going to take this to town. Sell it for our freaking... We're going to get 30% off of 10000 So that's going to be an, like th an extra $3,000. So yeah, I think we're just going to sell this for our thirteen to $15,000. Uh, down at the service center and then we're going to go ahead and get another vehicle from the used car lot over here and what we're going to do is turn that into a racing machine and uh, we're going to only s basically make money from racing I think I think that's going to work yeah 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 kind of thought about doing it with this car but I kind of feel bad because it's like pretty much a perfect car I'd kind of rather do it with a car that's kind of not perfect you know what i mean it's just kind of like throwing money down the drain if i would take this to the rally track because i'm gonna wreck it i mean there's no question about it we are gonna wreck so that looks beautiful let's get our wrench back in hand i don't know why i dropped it uh let's throw this back in it's all looking fantastic uh, we're just gonna kind of scooch under here and get everything tightened how's the timing it looks beautiful that damn uh chest in there it's getting it's wanting me to put my wrench in there let's put the oil pan back on uh, if we could find it of course now we are holding it this way so we're hoping that we didn't lose our oil but we would have lost a ton of oil to be honest with you because since we were driving it a lot of the oil would have been up inside of the engines little nooks and crannies right all the little ports and stuff so taking this off we would have still Damn it, we would have still lost a bunch of oil. Anyway, anyway, we would have saved a, a good amount of it, though. Okay, we do need to get a new transmission. Yeah, I am not going to buy that here. That costs way too much. Um, let's take a look here, though. Any suspension? So we do have a bad tie rod we need to replace. Okay, we have some bad shocks and stuff as well. Let's take a look at it again. It's up to 10,100. You know what? We're going to go do these rear end pieces first as it's going to be a little bit easier. Let's grab the control arm here. There we go. And this one, a boom and a bang. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Yeah, let's pull these out. We'll just let them drop or not. Whatever. You used to be able to grab parts pretty good when you had your wrench in your hand. Um, but something definitely has changed that. Anyway, let's get that control arm and shock. So here is the upper control arm that we need. It's just that tiny little one, right? And here is the rear shock that we need. Let's go ahead and get these both put on real quick here. Uh, we'll stick this one in. Boom. And let's grab that other piece and uh, do the exact same thing. And then I guess I could probably get the tie rods or the uh, tie rod in next. Let's go and tighten these up real quick though. Got one on uh, two and up here and up here. There we go. There we go. Let's take a look. Uh, the brake over here is really bad. Let's pull this off uh, along with that line. There, okay. Grab it full. Yeah, you used to be able to grab your parts with your wrench really well before. I don't know what the hell happened, but I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Ah, damn it. I don't know if you can see. But I have a bad hub in here as well. Okay, we're going to have to buy a jack. Uh, that will be fine. Let's go and pull this off, however. Let's get a new caliper. Uh, this was our left caliper, I believe it was our left. Was it our left? I hope so, but I'm pretty sure it was. So if we come here, here's rear left. Uh, we are going to buy a pack of rear brakes. Uh, because... One of those brake pads were in bad shape. So let's just set that down. In fact, what we are going to do is put just two brand new brake pads on. It's fine. I was going to take off that other one, but I decided to change my mind uh, literally last second. So let's get this thrown in though. Uh, tighten it up. There we go. Let's get that brake line back. Oh, it's already loosened. Oh, okay, good. Let's go ahead and get it on. There we go. Tighten it. Nope. And tighten it. Okay, let's pull this side off as well. Uh, I do want to look at the actual brake pads since we just bought brand new ones. Damn it. 
Okay, okay, okay. I have to, I'm gonna have to get used to, um, I'm gonna have to start. Okay, these brake pads are good. I'm gonna have to start, uh, dropping my wrench, I think, when I start to grab for parts. Anyway, let's put that back on. Anything else back here that can be replaced that does not look like it? Let's take a look at the car. It is still sitting at a four star, $10,300 redos. Uh, we could throw these parts into the back here. Uh, so let's do just open it up stick them in there yep we'll sell all these to uh steve when he's available but let's go up to the front now and let's replace these front parts uh, let's see let's see i think we had a tie rod on this side a little bit hard to get under the tire that's another thing you used to be able to get under the tire a lot better okay hold on you know what i'm just gonna buy a jack real quick what kind of jack you wonder well let's see how much they cost actually that's expensive bro that's like a lot of our money 420 dollars 24 dollars is not bad we're just gonna buy this 2400 uh 24 dollar jack yeah yeah i don't know if that's even justifiable for that thing to be uh so much more it's not like it really goes that much higher anyway um we're gonna do this proper and stick it where you normally would in real life which is gonna be right here Jack it up. There we go. There we go. Let's grab our wrench, uh, which is right here. We are going to just pop off the tire. I think it's going to be a lot easier uh, as we do have a bad brake pad as well as a bad tie rod. Uh, so there we go. Not a brake pad. I meant to say a, uh, a brake caliper. Anyway, let's loosen this. Squeeze back just a tiny bit. Loosen this. Actually, I messed up, but it's fine. Uh, how's the pads on this by the way beautiful beautiful okay let's grab the old tie rod right here and here there it is come here there it is okay front left a uh, brake caliper and a tie rod anything else just in this little section here doesn't look like it okay let's go get those items uh, front left brake caliper by the way uh, let's see front left brake caliper there we go what else did i say i needed a tie rod yeah that's right a tie rod and check it out we do need a rear hub so i'm just gonna go ahead and buy that right away uh, let's just pick these up and then carry them out uh, we do want to grab our pry tool so we can swap around these old pads right yeah 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 let's drop that our wrench and then let's drop our pry tool we're also going to drop this rear hub and tie rod and then grab our pry tool and let's get busy one oh easy easy and there we oh no hold on okay there we go there we go uh let's grab our wrench back in hand slap this puppy on possibly right there we go okay i feel like this uh jack is about to follow me uh let's grab this one and oops that one yep there we go uh what else what else the tie rod which is right here a uh, boom and a boom boom a boom okay okay let's get the tire on before this thing falls hold your horses tire looks good a rim looks good a boom let's get it tight damn it get it there we go there we go there we go okay let's drop it uh let's go over to that other side now and take a look at uh, the little front end here we're just going to stick this in right away give us a little bit of extra uh, work room here right yeah it's not the stablest most stable uh, but we do have a bad shock over here uh the tie rod i can't see tie rod looks good a brake caliper looks good we do have a shaved uh oh does the brake pads are not looking too good uh, but i don't know if i'm going to replace those Okay, let's do the shock. Uh, where did I put the wrench? Right here. So let's pull this puppy off. We're going to pull off the old bottom first, right? Yep, and then the top. I should have probably got out to do that. It's fine. Okay, who knows where that went? There it is. Let's go ahead and replace this thing. And I think that's it for up here, right? No, it's not. Look, you can't quite tell. But see that shade of brown on this uh, carrier hub? Okay, that does not look very safe. Anyway, let's pull off the uh, hubcap. Uh, actually, 
Let's not forget to put this one back on, by the way. There we go. Okay, okay. Let's pull off the tire. I'm pretty sure... Oh, I was mistaken. Look, the carrier hub is fine. It looked like it was in bad shape, but it's not. You can always tell by that little center nodule right there. Anyway, uh, what did we take off? The front shock. Let's just go ahead and get a new one real quick. And then... You deliver pizzas occasionally. If you do, could you bring me one next time, please? What the hell did he say? It's not like he said something about a pig. Please come again. I need to pay attention next time. Anyway, uh, let's get this front shock on. Okay, here's the first bolt, and I'm having a little bit of trouble down there, so we're just going to grab the other one from up top. Okay, okay, let's take a look at it again. $10,400. Have we ever checked the headlights and stuff on this car? Because if we're going to sell it, I probably should double check all that stuff. Oh, look, we don't even have a door panel. That's right. I think I was going to try to find a red one at the old junkyard. Okay, maybe we'll see if we could get that when we do our transmission. Anyway, let's check lights and stuff. Uh, where the hell's the light switch at? You can't see it because I'm... I'm not sitting down. Hold on. Just kidding. That wasn't why at all. Anyway. Headlights look good. Let's try our blinkers out, right? Okay. Actually, I should have just turned on the hazards. It's fine. Uh, front blinker and light looks good. Rear... Okay, we did check the lights. I do remember. Uh, so I'm just wasting my time here. Yep, this one looks good, and... Oh, this one does not look good. Okay, now maybe I didn't check the lights. What the hell? Anyway, I could have sworn... I could have sworn I did check these lights. Apparently not. Okay. Well, let's open it up. And, unfortunately, there's no way to actually get behind this thing, I don't think. Uh, or is there? Or is there? There actually might be. Let's grab our pry tool. Did I ever put it back into my thing here? I did not. Uh, the prime tool is right here. Oh, yeah, we have to do that rear end. Let's pull this off real quick. Drop it, and let's get inside. Okay, I just need to put my brake on. Okay, let's get inside here. Okay, I'm having troubles here. Uh, let me get this uh, hub, cap back, hub cap back on, but let's get over here. Hold on a second. Can't get in the goddamn car, bro. Oh, look, check it out. Okay. Let's pull this light bulb out. Um, it looks fine, but apparently not. So I don't think I'm gonna buy a full box. Let's just buy two regular ones. And let's see if this does the trick here. Jump in. Okay, that did work. Uh, let's pull this one out. I thought I'd just change these out, but apparently not. Oh, damn it, I almost lost it. Almost lost it. Let's put it in. Okay. Okay. They both work now. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Let's turn. Uh, let's put this back on. Where the hell did my panel go? It's right here. Put it on, please. There we go. Let's take a look at the car. So we technically could sell this right now and make about three grand. I think we're going to go ahead and still replace the transmission. And what else did we need to replace, by the way? I think we're just going to throw these in the trash. I don't think uh, Steve would give us that much money for them anyway. Trash can wants to give us zero dollars. Oh, look. I had three light bulbs here, by the way. Anyway, they were all zero bucks. Uh, this is good breaks. We're going to take this. And let me just gather everything up. We still need to do the rear end, actually, so we're not going to do it quite yet. Uh, let's go ahead and jack. Okay, let me first turn off this blinker starting to uh, annoy me just a bit there we go there we go okay let's go ahead and jack this rear end up okay yeah let's jack this rear end up um which side was it by the way this side it was this side i could see the uh, hub on the other side so let's lift it up probably about right here yep yep this looks as good as any it's gonna pull off the old hub cap of course and then grab our wrench and let's pull off the old tire 
Uh, we're gonna have to get our screwdriver. Do we have that in pocket? I do. Uh, yep, yep. We're gonna have to pull off the old hubaroo here. Yep. Uh, damn it, not yet. Hold on. We have to get the brake caliper first. Uh, let's pull off the brake caliper, right? One, two, and three. And now we will pull off the rotor. And then we will pull off uh, the hub. The rear hub. What is it? It's the hub. The rear hub. And then where's the new hub? Right here. Let's grab it. And let's slap it in. A boom. And tighten it up. Okay. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Okay. And now we have to put everything back on. So the rotor. And then the brake caliper. How's the brakes on this one? Good. They look great. Uh, let's get this all tightened. Uh, one, two, and a three, just like before. That should be everything. Let's grab the tire, get it put back on. And there we go. There we go. Okay, let's bag our wrench. This. Do we have anything else in here? We have the rear brake pads, discs. Nope. Looks like it's nothing but uh, parts. Let's go ahead and drop this. I'm going to just bag that as well. Uh, this is going into the back as well as uh, this jack stand. All right, we got to put the hubcap back on. And then all I have to do is gather a couple more bad parts like these pistons. The shack. Is it a shack or is it a shock? Well, depends on where you're from, I guess. It depends where you're from. Anyway, uh, I think I have a tie rod over here as well as this caliper. Yep, I just saw the tie rod. Let's get that thing in. Now we're going to drop all this off at Steve, and then we're heading to the old uh, car lot. I meant to say junkyard, by the way, not the car lot. Um, I don't think this thing's going to sell. Let's just throw it in the trash for a zero dollars and that should be everything right so to the junkyard we go uh to look for a transmission that we technically zone to need but we're going to get anyway and we're going to see if we can find a red door panel oh how's our column i did put a column on here well let's see how our column is did i ever buy a new one i did buy a new one okay okay anyway let's get in and let's get going You know, I noticed I don't have any food with me, so we're going to have to uh, take a stop at the store. Maybe we'll pick up food when we go downtown to sell to sell this thing. Anyway, we're off. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Just kidding. Let's see uh, if it's any faster. Okay, ready? Ah, uh, damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I, I freaking stalled it again. Hold on. Okay, here we go. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand. Actually, I think it was slower than before. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oops, I screwed it. I screwed it up. Okay, there we go. There we go. And let's just drop all this stuff off right here. There we go. Just gonna jump out and uh chuck it all yep 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 oh uh, man i wish i didn't have all these tools and stuff in here we're gonna stop at the i don't know where we're gonna stop i'm gonna drop all this stuff though and see if i can get it back into my uh toolbox and all that and i'm gonna pick everything else up by my bag here well this should be a decent amount of money this is quite a bit of parts actually that we replaced I have 10 in my bag, so it looks like 12 parts in total. Uh, that's quite a bit, because this thing was all fixed, if you remember correctly. Anyway, let's go. Um, actually, let's not and say we did. We're going to put our grinder back in here, our screwdriver, our pry tool. We're going to grab our flashlight into our hand, jack in our hand, wrench can go in. Uh, you know what? Let's check the dents real quick. I don't think there are any, but... Nah, it doesn't seem like it. I think we've been fairly well on this thing. Let's put that back in. And the rest of this, we're just going to pocket. Uh, I should probably also pocket this stuff. Oh, God, and I have a bunch of fluids. Oh, my God, look at all the stuff I got. Okay, okay, it's fine. It's fine. 
Oh, that's right. I got all this when I thought I was going to be doing a bunch of, um, we're going to drop this disc here. Uh, when I thought I was going to be doing a bunch of cutting up at the, uh, abandoned car, uh, abandoned, uh, garage or whatever the frick it's called. Anyway, get the hell out of here. Is this our green? Possibly. Okay. 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 Let's go. Let's go back down to the old junkyard and get thing and, and get our transmission and stuff. Uh, what time is it? It is getting kind of late, so I think we're going to go home first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to stop at the gas station now and grab some drink and food. And then after that, we'll head to the house and sleep and all that. Oh, and then we'll head to the junkyard in the morning and replace this transmission. And let's see. Yeah, let's get pulled in here. How's our fuel doing? Uh, we have like three quarters of a tank, so we're doing good on fuel. Um, I don't know how much food and drink to buy because I have a bunch of junk here. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to try to put this stuff in the front seat. Yeah. And then we'll put those into our garage. Anyway, let's get in here. Oh, hey, Phil. How's it going, buddy? Um, let's uh, do... Well, yeah, we're here for food and drink. That's right. Let's see. Let's grab like one, two... And then one of these, oh, actually we need two flakes. I was reading it backwards. Um, let's eat this first. Actually, I should have, you should always, yeah, eat first and then drink, right? Or is it the other way around? Either way. There we go. That looks good enough. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think we have food at the house. So we're off later on. Frank, just kidding. I meant Phil. Okay. And uh, yeah, we're off. Let's get to the house uh, and get to a bed. Hopefully nobody was coming. Jesus. Why do I do that? Why do I do that? Oh, it's because of my, my setup. It's hard to reach my mouse. Anyway, anyway, up into third and to the beach house we go. All right, all right, all right. Well, how you guys been, by the way? How you guys been doing? Hopefully you're all doing pretty fantastic. Um, I've been having a pretty great time over in a farming simulator and uh, not such a great time in my summer car, by the way, not a great time whatsoever. I honestly hate that game. Um, I don't really understand how people love it, but I be, I'm determined to love it. I don't know if it's going to happen. We'll find out, though. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's get down here. Yeah, now, as I mentioned, there was a small update. I am on the beta branch of my garage. Um, I just have no clue what happened in that small uh, a beta update, and I didn't go to the Discord to find out either. Uh, I don't really get on there too much. Anyway, and a boom. There we go. And turn off the lights, please. Yeah, we don't want the battery to drain, do we? Maybe we do. Maybe we uh, do. Okay. Um. Now, I don't need these cutting discs in the car, so I'm going to grab these. Because when we go down to the junkyard in the morning, we're only grabbing a door panel and a transmission. Uh, let's go and drop all this. I do want to pick up my jack and battery, however, and I do want to see if this car needs any bondoing. I don't think so. So I'm pretty sure we never did any hammering. It doesn't. Okay, excellent. And anything else I should probably take out? Yeah, I don't think there's a reason to have this coolant, these oils. Nope. So we're going to leave these here as well. I do need to get... Well, we need a trailer because I need to bring shelving and stuff back to this place, right? Um, I don't know if I need to keep my one jack stand or not. It's a heavy duty one. I actually got the wrong kind. I think it's going to be fine though. Let's go ahead and run inside and get to sleep. Yeah, I don't have any food in here. Uh, no lootables whatsoever. Anyway, good night, everybody. A good night. Good morning. Good morning. It's 8 o'clock. 8 a.m. And I don't see anything outside. So let's get down to the junkyard. I should have brought in more food, I guess, and drinks. Uh, as my hunger is pretty, pretty low. So I think we'll stop at the gas station real quick. Get some more food and drinks. And then uh, when we actually make our sale for this down at the old service center, I think I'm going to do some decent grocery shopping. But anyway jump in okay and we're coasting backwards uh, there we go let's get out to the road here 
And we're off. Uh, I don't think we need anything. I can't close that garage, by the way. Um, the game doesn't allow you to close it, so... Here we go, here we go. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know, bros. I don't know what to do. I think, I think that's gonna be the move, though. I think we're gonna sell this, get our 30% um, bonus at the old service center, right? That'll put us up close to about 15, oops, $15,000 in pocket. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back here to town and go to the used car lot. We're gonna find a car in there. And then we're just gonna not really like fully repair it. We're just gonna get it repaired enough uh, and souped up enough to win races. And then moving forward, I think I'm just going to uh, start doing a bunch of races to make our money. You know what I mean? I know it's my garage. So like the name of the game is to <laughs> buy cars, fix them, and then sell them. Uh, but that's all we ever do, right? So I'm kind of wanting to try different different ways of uh, making money and all that stuff. You guys move it. You got Sam for your lollygagging. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, and then maybe once we actually have a garage, maybe then I'll get back into car repairs. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what to do. Anyway, anyway, where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. Son of a bastard. Start monologuing and uh, I forget what the hell I'm doing. Oh, look, there's Steve though. Let's go ahead and sell this stuff. So I guess it wasn't a complete waste of time coming down here. No, not at all. Okay, Steve, let's see how much you give us for this stuff here. Uh, what are you going to give me for my battery? When I lived in what was his name? Flotari, I think. Yeah, me and him go way back. Yeah, Flotari could f*** off. I don't even know him. I've never even met Flotari, but I know who he is, though. He's the guy down at the old, uh, the store in my summer, uh, car. But, yeah, yeah, I've never even had that car running. That's why I'm determined to love that damn game, because I need to get that stupid thing, uh, running. But I honestly do hate that game. I, I really don't like it at all, to be honest with you. Uh, which I know is sacrilegious, but that game bro fuck it right in the butt okay eight bucks okay not too much here for a lot of these items i'm doing it one by one so i can see how much i'm actually getting because uh, if i put them all in my bag and sell them i actually don't know how much i'm making off of uh each item you know what i mean so anyway it's not the worst uh it's not the worst amount of money though we i haven't been keeping a track uh hopefully editor quad once we're done here he can say how much we made but um I'm gonna guess it's got it to be at least a hundred bucks. A lot of these items sell for close to ten dollars. So anyway, oh look, he doesn't want to pay me for this. Come here, you bastard. Let me paint you green. Anyway, sorry, <laughs> sorry, scapegoat. I actually, I actually love you, sir. Anyway, that's gonna be good. Let's uh, get up to the gas station, get some food, and then down to the old uh, junkyard. We shall go. And we're off. We are off. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Let me get my arm around here. And nobody's coming. Excellent. Boom. Yes, yes. Okay, so I think we'll stock up. Not a lot. I don't think I'm going to stock up on any of the food, honestly. I'm just going to get myself, uh, filled up. And then that'll be enough. Unfortunately, we are really, really hungry. So I think we're going to eat, get three foods and a couple waters here. One, two, three, one, two, three. Kind of wasted some money there. Uh, that's quite all right, though. I didn't feel like really storing it in my pockets. But anyway, let's get down to the junkyard. Uh, let's get this transmission and door panel. And then we're going to sell this, uh, this SOB. All right, let's go, though. Anybody coming? Nobody's coming. Okay, okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I think it would be kind of fun, though, to uh, do some rally racing again. I'm kind of curious now what our uh, next vehicle is going to be uh, to do all these races and stuff, you know what I mean? Because we're going to go ahead and soup whatever we get up, uh, whatever, whatever vehicle we get. We're going to soup up the engine, whether that's uh, with high performance parts and or 
uh, turbos. Or blowers, possibly, but probably not a blower. Probably not. Maybe, though. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, this thing's really struggling up this hill. Let's just downshift a second. Let me get my uh, body reoriented here. Anyway, anyway. Here we go. Okay, don't fly off the edge, quad. So what was it for the transmission up there? 371 or something like that? Okay, okay, easy. So hopefully we can find a tranny down here for under a hundred bucks. Uh, hopefully we can find a tranny for like... 50 bucks, right? Okay, 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 we got this. We got it. There we go. I guess I could have attempted to do the, um... I should have tried to do the junkyard race. Honestly, in this. Oh, I should have. I don't think we would have won, though. I don't. Oh, and we left some stuff down here, by the way. Look. Oh, we left a rocker panel. Anyway, uh, let's get inside. And let's get this transmission and a door panel. I'm hoping to find a red door panel, but we'll see. Uh, we will put this into the back because Steve would probably give us a pretty decent penny for that. Okay, it's attempting to load in. Uh, but I need to go grab uh, my wrench and uh, before we go in there. There we go. There we go. It's always a little bit of a struggle once that thing loads. But let's grab the wrench and transmission and door panel. That's all we're looking for today. Transmission and a door panel. So now the transmissions like that will work perfectly. We'll probably end up grabbing that one. But let's see if there's any. Oh, my God. It's like almost no lads in here. Uh, one over here. Is it red? Is it red? It doesn't even have a door. Son of a gun. It is red, though. So that's a thing. Anyway, uh, what is back in the corner, by the way? Uh, a truck. It's a truck. Oh, well, at least we got a tranny. That's the only thing that really matters here. So let's pop this thing off. I guess that other car probably had one as well. We'll look at it before we uh, completely... Uh, not dedicate. What's the word I'm looking for? I don't even know, but we'll look at that other transmission before we decide to buy this one. There we go. I should have probably brought in my jack. Uh, I will. I will. But let's look at this other transmissions. Oh, there was a ladder here. Damn it. I didn't even see this one. Anyway, it doesn't have a door panel. It has a broken transmission. Uh, this one also has a broken transmission. This one also has a broken transmission. So it looks like we are, in fact, going with the first one over here. Uh, let's see if we could squeeze in without grabbing our jack, but I have a feeling. Uh, no, tonight is not going to be a good night. And yeah, we can't get in. Okay, get out, fool. Let me go grab my jack real quick uh, so we can uh, get underneath that thing. Just joking. I have the jack with me. So we're just going to jack up this side. Get a wrench back out. Flip it around and lift it up. Yep, yep. There we go. There we go. And let's see if we can get in here. Now we're just going to scroll down. So we just have to pull off right here. One. Yeah, yeah. See what I mean? You can't even really get back here anymore. Okay, there they are. Oh, damn it. I lost it through the car, though. Oh, damn it. Who knows what I'm loosening? Anyway, how much is this thing? So it's not the cheapest thing in the world, but it's still a lot cheaper than up at the parts store. Uh, 165 instead of 370 so that's not too bad it's still 50 percent off or more rather uh but yeah yeah let's go and get this thing swapped out real quick here now the only question i have is how am i going to get back home i think we're just going to go for a swim if i'm honest with you uh, it looks like i still have to use my jack by the way yeah, I think once we sell our car at the service center, I'm just going to have a swim uh, back to this side of the map. It's not totally unrealistic. Uh, my dad actually swam across a pretty gosh damn large body of water one time. At least uh, this is how the stories go. He was skunk ass drunk, um, but he swam across this huge freaking uh, lake. Anyway, anyway. It's kind of hard to see these other 
ones. So, like, I don't like that I can't come under here anymore. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I should be able to crawl under this thing. Because I could in real life, you know what I mean? Anyway, that should be it. It is, it is. Let's throw this into the back as Steve will give us a decent penny. So we're going to stop at his place before. Oh, no, we, we don't want to put that there yet. Uh, we need, need to grab the new tranny. And was this a five speed? I think they're only five speeds. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get this Titan. There's this one, this one. And then, of course, the ones on the engine. One, two. I can't see this bottom one, by the way. There it is. There it is. And then let's, okay, okay, I get the point. Let's grab this one. Let's get out of the car. There we go. Let's go ahead and tighten this side. And there we go. And I think I just have to get the drive shaft. I don't know if I actually hit any of those drive shaft bolts, by the way. Will you get in here, please? There we go. Oh, there they are. There's, okay, I got all three. I got all three. Let's bag this as well as our jack and uh yeah yeah let's take a look at the car uh we didn't find a door panel that is actually a little bit of sad let me go look in here real quick well i found a front right lad a door it just doesn't have a door panel on it so anyway and no door panels in here either nope okay that's fine uh, we don't really need it uh they're gonna buy it without the door panel as uh the dealership doesn't really care to so i guess we're just gonna sell it without a door panel that's fine enough okay let's jump in and let's get to town to sell this bad boy if we take a look at it however uh yeah we're sitting at 10.5 thousand so we're gonna get a decent amount okay okay let's just get back uh to steve and then to the old service center and we're off we're off yep yep we're off okay okay So smooth sailing so far. Or should we just time lapse the drive? Let's just time lapse it. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I almost went over the freaking edge. Yeah, yeah, that was a close one. Now that was a close one. Anyway, we're almost down to Steve's. Uh so I thought about actually building a bridge uh that leads from the top of this hill down to Steve. Uh let me know. Would you like to see that? Maybe I'll do that in uh, my other playthrough, the one that's like heavily modded. Okay, we finally made it. We are down here at Steve's. Let's go ahead and drop all this stuff off, which isn't a lot, but we should get some decent money for this transmission here. Let's see. Hey, bud, don't be going using too much Bondo, though. Excuse you. Yeah, check it out. 80 bucks. How much did we pay for that other transmission? 160? So we only paid 80 bucks for that transmission instead of 371. So that's almost like a $300 uh, discount. Oh, I kind of like that. Okay, okay. Let's make sure it's still at a full five stars. Ah, it's not. That's okay. We just have to get it washed. That's fine. Um, is there a place to wash down there, by the way? Oh, I don't know if there is a place to wash uh, down there. So I think we're going to go ahead and get it washed uh, before we leave. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think about that. I don't think the service center has a hose down there, you know what I mean? Oh, well, we could actually get it. We'll, we'll get it washed at the car wash. Yeah, let's just do that. It's fine. Yep, yep. Anyway, so off to the service center. Yeah, we'll just stop at the gas station uh, before we get there and wash it. So anyway, let's go. Let's go. Oh, uh, did you know you can't open these when you're driving? Just kidding. You can. You can. Yeah, you can. Let's drop it down to four. Well, this thing doesn't feel too good. Look, it's like kind of swervy. Or maybe it's just me. I think it's just me. Yeah, it's just me. Anyway, anyway, up to fifth. Okay, easy. All hands on wheels, please. Jeez Louise. Yeah, I think it's just me, honestly. Because I have no dead zone in my wheel, you know what I mean? Because uh, the dead zones suck. Anyway. Down to second. And here we go. Here we go. 
Now we can't forget to stop at the car wash. I don't know how fast you can drive through that thing either to get washed, so I think we're going to try to go through it at a decent speed. <laughs> we'll see how it turns out. And down to four, here we go. Yeah, we're just going to stop at this one, or not stop, we're going to actually not stop, we're just going to keep on driving uh, right on through it. Let's get downshifted here though to seconds, and let's see, let's see, let's go through fast. Yeah, dude, now that's how you wash a car. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's not go through the dirt, though. Because we don't want to be getting this thing dirty. There we go, there we go. Let's, uh, pull out the old drone. And, uh, let's see how our car wash did. Yeah, yeah, look at this drone that I bought. Yeah, I know, it's a self-following drone. Anyway, uh, let's go back to first. I can't, I can't drive like that. All right, let's get over there. Enough screwing around, quad. Oh, look, I got farming simulator over here on the right-hand side, by the way. I should get a harvester uh, and harvest those grains so we could uh, make some money. Am I right? Am I right? Oh, I'm not. Okay, that's fine. We're on the road again. I thought about doing another survival series, so that will be coming shortly. I think the next time I die on uh, my summer car, or the next time I get overly frustrated, I'm just gonna fucking give up on that game, and uh, that's probably when I'll start another uh, survival series. Like okay, I downshifted a little bit too far, but we are in Middleton, so yeah. Look, there's a sign, Middleton. Alright, 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 here we are, here we are. Let's get pulled in over here. Down to third. Down to second. And here we go. Beautiful. Okay, let's get out, let's see. Uh, it's looking quite nice. We have all of our hubcaps, yep. All of our lights. Uh, we don't have all of the trim because I don't know why actually i don't know why i should have bought the trim anyway um uh, damn it it's dirty again dude i took it through the car wash why is it dirty hold on let's look at it again okay never mind it was a delayed uh a delayed response okay let's sell this thing probably close to 14 right let's see uh yeah close to 14 13.6 a uh, boom see you later we're up to 15 grand now though so that's pretty excellent um yeah we're gonna oh i forgot all the stuff that i had with me Oh no. Well, I guess I'm going to have to swim across the Platomic uh, with a damn. What is this thing called? Toolbox? Yeah. With a toolbox. Anyway, we are going to end it here, you guys. So, in the next one, we will be swimming across the old Platomic uh, River. No, no, no. I don't know what it is, but we're going to be swimming across it. And we will be going to the used car lot and we're going to buy ourselves a new a new car at the used car lot. So we're going to just swim across, right? And then whatever car we buy in the next one, we are going to not fix it 100%. We are just going to fix it up enough performance wise so we can race the old Rally 2 track. Now, this is the only one that I am good at and the only one that I have won regularly on. So anyway. That will be it for this one, you guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you guys in another one later on, everybody. Later on. And there's no wreck because I don't have a car to wreck, so adios.